Okay, Spectec is um, the leading uh, entity in IT in shipping. We were born 30 years ago, actually 14th of January next year we're going to turn 30. We provide software solutions for ship management, so maintenance, procurement, spare parts, uh, administration, the pro and, um, quality, safety and crewing. We have today uh, around 6,500 uh, ships uh, with Amos on board and I'm counting them based on the number of ships which pay the yearly fee. So there could be by far more vessels with Amos on board and 1,200 oil rigs. Well, essentially with the advent of the new rules and regulations in the last uh, 20 years, it has made possible to the crew on board to comply, to better comply and work in a more efficient way. And it made it possible to shipping companies to operate in a more cost-effective way. The change in rules and regulations. If you look into the shipping market 30 years ago, essentially there were five rules. Today is an enormous number of rules. They don't apply internationally anymore, so it's not only IMO, which is issue uh, new rules. It's also you know, the AMSA, the European Maritime Safety Agency, the AMSA, the Norwegian Petroleum Directorate. So it, it has become enormously complex. It all started in 1996 with the introduction of the International Safety Management Code. Since then, it it has gone from bad to worse from a, let's say from a regulatory point of view there are too many rules on the market today that has been the complete different challenge that uh, the shipping market has had to cope with Rules so far have been really imposed to the maritime world because in my opinion the maritime world was not good enough in adapting, in self-adapting to the changing world, you know. We've always, as sailors, because I, effectively I'm, I'm a sailor myself, I'm a seafarer, we have always been late. We've always received them as an imposition. I think that uh, we have to become much more proactive. The market and the world is not going to get easier for us we will get more and more rules and regulations from garbage management to the pollution emission and so on. And this is not going to change. So we have to become more proactive and try to consolidate and go back to IMO and say, please, let, let you guys be the only one issuing rules. Because today, if you go to any port in the United States, the Wallace, uh, the uh, Ballast Wall ballast water management is a completely different uh, from one port to the other and it becomes a nightmare. The reason the accidents happen is because we don't look into the human factor very much and uh, again because we take rules as an imposition. We are not the ones who say, hey, we have to do things better. We have to select our sailors better. We have to organize ourselves better. So that's why they happen. It's simply because if we feel that rules are going to be imposed on us, we just try to do the bare minimum. We don't try to make them proactive to work for us, to work for the benefit of the company. So we need to play a lot into the, man the top managers, the ship owners. They have to understand the rules are there to make life better for everybody. And uh, we have to become more proactive with the crews, with the people, because essentially if you look at the Costa Concordia, you may have all the written and printed rules in the planet, but if uh, you know, the number one in the ship is not convinced about them, is not following them to the letter, or to the spirit more than to the letter, then you, you get the accidents. Uh, the main message here is that uh, shipping is coming back, because Essentially, we are seeing now a very large exhibition in the Greek market. The Greek ship owners being, you know, the, the excellent ship owners with 2,000 years of experience, they feel that the market is going to pick up slowly, it's not going to be very fast. But uh, what they did, they bought a lot of ships. So now everybody is here because there is confidence and things can go better in the future.